Hi guys, so welcome to Scorpio Cat Tarot. I'm going to be doing this reading for Libra for the week of March 20th to the 25th. Hope everybody is doing well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you do. I'm joining the little Scorpio Cat family here at Scorpio Cat Tarot. Alright, let's see what we got for you guys. The Ten of Cups. Ooh. The Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. All right. If you're new to the channel, I don't follow a specific format. I just let the cards tell me what they want to tell me. I lay them all out, and then I put them all together. So I just flipped over like seven cards. All right. Weird beginning to this reading so far, but my Libra readings are always like off the wall. All right. So we got going on. Okay. That one kind of jumped. King of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Three Tens, hmm, okay, one more row there, Seven of Swords, Death, and the Hierophant, Libra. What the hell? <laughs> okay, a ten of cups, a lot of love. Um, it's a rainbow of cups in the sky. Is a man and a woman there, and kids dancing, and it's just a happy, happy, beautiful union there. Somebody makes you incredibly happy. What's up with the five of pentacles, though? That's the cold shoulder that's being shut out in the cold. Um, Perhaps you're shutting, cutting your person off for some reason. They cut you off? I'm not sure. Ten of swords. That's the end of something. Um, I don't feel it's the end of the relationship. I feel like it's the end to something, though. Maybe the end of giving the cold shoulder, the end of not communicating, the end of cutting your person off. Yes, okay. I feel like that's what that is. Okay, King of Wands. So this is somebody who's kind of playboy energy. Okay, non-committal. Very uh, on and off, hot and cold, in and out, you know, wands, passion, action. Okay, this guy can't sit still and he can't make up his mind. But, You've been wrestling with the idea of being more committed to a Ten of Cups person here. Um, it's something you've been kind of carrying around, thinking about. Um, it's been kind of like on your mind, you know, kind of a burden to you. Um, The Seven of Swords, I hate this guy. Go on the sneaky mofo. Um, he's got a hat on here, but in another one of my decks, he's wearing a, a cloak with a hood. And he's got the hood drawn. He's sneaking, excuse me, he's sneaking off of all the swords. <laughs> this is deception. It's um, sneaking. It's betrayal. But again, followed by death, which is resurrection and change and metamorphosis and transformation. Uh, this is actually Scorpio's card. Could be involved with the Scorpio. Um, and the Hierophant, which is like uh, legal contracts, um, binding agreements. A lot of people think that this means marriage because uh, it's like a legal He's like a judge, like a court. Um, something to do with legality. This is a weird reading, Libra. Okay, so your person is your ten of cups. They make you incredibly happy. You can see this person is the one. You have cut off communication with them in the past, but you're putting an end to that behavior. Um, 
you are on some playboy energy, kind of um, doing your thing, want to be free, want to just, you know, you don't want to be committed, and you see that as a burden to you. It's weighing you down, something that you are thinking about, but um, it's something that is heavy on your mind, and, you know, you feel weighed down by commitment. You don't like it. You don't want it. The seven of swords is betrayal, deceit, deception. You could be lying to your person or hiding something from them, sneaking around on them perhaps, okay? But then the death card is transformation and I feel like whatever that behavior is, you're ending it because you do feel uh, like you don't want a commitment, but you do feel like this is your person right and you are thinking about it and you know this is actually all in a row diagonally and um you do feel joined to them all right let's um let's pull some cards in your person libra let's get your person's energy here so you're kind of back and forth double-minded not sure if you want to be a free spirit or if you want it to have this commitment with your ten of cups. There's been some deceit. There's been some betrayal. There's been some uh, cold shoulder cutting off kind of energy. All right, your person is eight of cups, six of pentacles, knight of cups, ten of pentacles. Okay, wow, your person is kind of... Mm -hmm. All right, eight of cups considering walking away um, maybe because you've been so on and off and in and out that they're like what the hell I don't know what to do with this they want an equal partnership the six of pentacles here is an equal partnership they want somebody that's going to invest in them as much as they're investing in you Libra Knight of Cups it's an emotional offer um, they do feel love for you um, and again the ten of pentacles they see you as somebody that's very stable and, um, well, could be very stable and loving and, you know, that they could have a very happy home life with, okay? So you're seeing your person as a Ten of Cups, and they're seeing you as the Ten of Pentacles. It's pretty nice, actually. All right, let's clarify some of these cards. I mean, we're all over the place in this reading. What is the um, Five of Pentacles doing there? Five of Pentacles, which is, you know, cutting off communication, cold shoulder. Why is this with Libra? Why is this with Libra? Non-communicating. You feel stuck. You feel bound. You feel um, trapped. You feel trapped. What is the, um, and maybe that's why you cut off communication. You just don't know how to express that you feel stuck. What is the Ten of Cups? Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here this ending? Why is this ending here for Libra? Seven of Cups. Okay. So, I feel like you cut off communication with your person because you were feeling stuck. Okay? You may have ended it previously. And then, um, I call this card that brass is a brainer on the other side. <laughs> you see, he walks into this room, it's full of golden cups, right? It looks fucking beautiful. But look at these cups. I don't know if you see this because the light. These cups have gold on them. It's like a severed head. It's a ghost. A snake. Uh, what else is here? Just reach a dragon or a lizard. Who wants that? You know, it looks great from a distance, but when you get it, you don't really want it. That's what this card is all about, okay? So you got your freedom, you ended it, you, you are happy. You want your ten of cups, you want your person. Okay. Why is the king of wands here for Libra? Show me the king of wands, that playboy energy. Let's clarify that. King of cups. Maybe you don't want to admit that you feel a lot for this person. Maybe it scares you how um, emotionally connected you feel. 
why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is this, this burden here for Libra? What is this burden about for Libra? Commitment. <laughs> the idea that commitment bothers you, man. Scares you. All right, Seven of Swords. What's the sneaky mofo doing here? Why is the sneaky mofo in Libra's reading? I got a jumper. <laughs> Ace of Wands, communication. Hmm. You're talking to somebody else, possibly, or there's something you're not telling your person. Something to do with communication that is uh, deceptive. Let's put one more on that. Reckless behavior, okay. So you could be, um, could be having some reckless conversations with some other people. Um, deceptive to your person. Why is death here? Show me death for Libra, please. Why is the death card here for Libra? Okay, you decided you're going to stick it out. You're sticking, you're sticking the ground. You made a decision. You're sticking to it. This is your ten of cups. This is your person. And why is the Hierophant here? Show me the Hierophant for the Libra. Oh, I love this. This is your soulmate. You're a divine partnership, Libra. And you know it. You feel, you feel like this person is, like if you were going to marry anybody, if you have anybody commitment, it's this motherfucker. <laughs> All right, let's, pull, let's clarify some for... Uh, this person, I was going to ask for that Eight of Cups there, and this jumped out at me, which is the sun. Oh, okay. They don't want to walk away from you because you make them happy. But with this behavior that you display, Libra, they feel like sometimes that they have no choice. But they don't want to. You make them very happy. Um, the rest of them, I feel like, are pretty self-explanatory. I mean, they're all good cards. Your person loves you, okay. And you love your person. You just commitment is bothering you, know? like. But if you were gonna commit to anybody, it's this person. You'd be very happy. All right, but maybe some sneaky, deceptive shit going on too. Let's pull a whispers of love uh, oracle card. I gotta put my glasses on. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. So be in the present, absolutely be present, you know. But don't be afraid to think of the future, is what that card is saying. You know, you can dream of the future. Okay, one more. Choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. <laughs> this person is your ten of cups. Stop running. Stop running. All right. Close it out with a couple of romance angel oracle cards. Some final advice for Libra, please. Some final advice for Libra for this love reading. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Being a little deceptive there, Libra. I totally picked up 100% that's your energy. Uh, maybe some reckless behavior. Deception. You love this person, but you know, you're not sure you want to commit to them, and maybe you're doing some reckless shit. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Listen, uh-uh. <laughs> That's okay when you're single Libras out there. <laughs> but I'm involved with the Libra and you flirt, uh-uh. <laughs> One more. Honeymoon. This is so funny. I keep pulling these cards on my boyfriend. He thinks I have the deck stack. I keep getting engagement and honeymoon. <laughs> he thinks I'm 
I got the, the cards up my sleeves. I got no sleeves on tonight. <laughs> Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, you know, let's take a break together. Go away together. Do, do something fun together. Spend some time together. All right. So, what it looks like, what I'm getting. Uh, you know what? This is pull on his oracle. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Let's see what we got. Interesting. One final message from Manifesting Miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. See, it said choose love. Trust your heart. Follow its guidance. Anyway. <laughs> so it looks like this person's your ten of cups. You love this person very much. You feel like this is your mate. This is your partner. And if you were going to commit to anybody, it's this person. But the whole commitment thing is like a burden to you. Um, it's not something that excites you necessarily. It's something that worries you. It makes you feel stuck. And um, you don't like feeling that way. But the cards do say, follow your heart. And, you know, go on a honeymoon. <laughs> anyway, that's what I have for you for tonight, Libra. I hope you have a great week ahead, and we'll see you.